uh, my son came in and said, oh my gosh, mom, you know, dad's nowhere to be found. You know, what are we going to do? I quite honestly and my son, both of us, we didn't think we were going to see him again. And I remember my heart just sinking. I have no idea of where he went. I have no idea of trying to figure out where he is. Then all of a sudden my mind switched and I thought, okay, he's got he's got the device oh, on. I know what to do. We went over it. They're very thorough about training people with the program. LA FAM is celebrating its one-year anniversary, and I think the program is already so successful. It gives peace of mind to all the families who have a loved one who might tend to wander. Um, that night when he disappeared, uh, I felt like I had slacked off and that he was going to pay the price of me slacking off. Because it's a lot of responsibility to take care of them. And we get tired. And we do our best. But um, you need help. And this program has, um, I'm so sorry, this program has saved me. We got off the freeway, he picked up a signal, I went to your house, and by the time I got to your house, he's saying, hey, I got it. <laughs> like, no, I got it. it was 15 wow. minutes, I was I'm like, sorry, this cannot, I, this is, that right? like, no. Anybody that cares for someone who has Alzheimer's or dementia, or even a child who has autism, knows you cannot watch them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's physically impossible. So this gives them the peace of mind that if they happen to turn their back or take a nap, uh, that we'll be able to respond and return their loved one to them as quickly as possible. His daily life, that's what keeps him going, is being able to take his walks that he likes to do. Simple, but that's like everything to him. The alternative to this would be like a jail type facility for him, and he would not want that at all. <laughs> this Project Lifesaver was able to literally save his life and save his way of life, too. Yeah. You want it on the right side or the left side? No, put it on the left side. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The police didn't really consider him at risk, so they weren't looking for him. Why not? Well, he was like me and you. You go to the beach. When are you coming back? You're just a regular individual. You might have some issues and problems, okay, but you'll be back, right? Like, before I knew it, there was a whole group of people on the on the lawn. You know, they had a helicopter and a whole cavalry, you know, so yeah, and, and, and a device too. I'm like, this is insane. Like this is so great. They cared so much and they they went out there and they did it. Yeah. The officers came over, the deputies came over and they put this on your wrist. And Aiden, you were so good about it. The person goes missing once, and you sort of hope that it won't happen again. And it does. And you're kind of living in crisis all the time. It's very hard to accept that your loved one is going to need more help and that you are going to need more help. And what's so great about Project Lifesaver is that you're bringing in a community. You're not just going it alone. And I think so many families of people with Alzheimer's, dementia, and autism feel very alone. And she also lives in Inglewood? Yeah, she lives in Inglewood with me. All right, ma'am. We will deploy somebody over there to look for her. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Hey Juan, I'm gonna start uh, initiating a search right here at the Inglewood uh, city limits. Copy. Okay. So I'm gonna turn the device. Okay. Last scene wearing blue jeans, sleeveless top, and leopard, leopard print black heels. Is 
you hopped on that bus, you could be either north or south. We're just going to check the lead that she possibly could go to this address. Oh, we found her. Cool, are you by? We're out back to the uh, residence. Okay, just confirming uh, she was found using the Project Life Server device? Yes, sir, she was located in the device. Copy. She was displaced based on her apartment building in the other side of Inglewood. She sometimes doesn't remember that she no longer lives there and that the place is vacant and then she wants to go home. So this, this program is really helpful. Probably close to a quarter mile away, um, I started getting like a light ping and then about half the distance from getting to her, it got super strong. It worked out perfect. Perfect the equipment, the teamwork, it was good. You don't get any happier than when you see them walking down the street and you're like, awesome, I found her. She's gonna be fine. Thank you, miss. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. You gotta stay home, though. Yeah. Just don't leave, right? Right. Okay. <laughs>